Facebook, Twitter, Apple, Google and Netflix. These are not just brands that we consume but also extremely successful listed companies. And guess what? You can own a share of these giants by buying their stocks. Investing in the US listed stocks is fairly simple and today we will tell you how it's done. There are two ways to invest in the US stock market, direct and indirect route. Indirect route is when you make investments through mutual funds or exchange traded funds. But it has been a month since most mutual funds with access to global equity strategies have stopped accepting new money because they reached the RBI defined limit of $7 billion for the MF industry. Until this limit is modified, this avenue of investments is out for now. The ETFs tracking global indices are still trading on the Indian exchanges and can be bought and sold. However, they cannot grow their assets under management. So what do you do now? You take the other route, which is the direct investment. And this is what we will be discussing in detail today. The three ways to invest in stocks that are listed in the US. Let's get started. The basic requirement is that you need to open a trading account. You can do this with an Indian broker who has tied up with a foreign broker. Once you open a trading account, transfer funds to it. Now, this is where you will have to be careful of the forex formalities under the RBI's Liberalized Remittance Scheme or LRS. So, how much can you invest in foreign stock market? LRS allows each resident individual, including minors, to freely remit $250,000, roughly around 1.9 crore rupees per financial year. Remember, the rupee needs to be converted to dollars before you buy stocks listed in the US. Once you're through this, your gateway to foreign world of stocks is open. The second way is you open an account with a foreign brokerage which has presence in India. There's yet another way, the third one which has recently come in but this doesn't cover the whole universe of US stocks. It's only limited to 8 US companies as of now. What I'm talking about is the NSE's International Financial Service Centre or IFSC as we know it. The timings are from 8pm to 2.45am. The eight companies where initially you can invest in are Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, also known as Google, Tesla, Meta Platforms, the Facebook holding company, Microsoft, Netflix and Walmart. Here are the six quick steps. Number one, open a DMAT account with a depository in the gift city. First check if your broker is already a depository participant. You will also need to open a trading account. Through a depository receipt, you can buy a fraction of share. HDFC Bank will act as a custodian, convert shares into DRs. DRs will be held in your own name, not a third-party international broker. In point number four, I mentioned the term fraction of share. Let me simplify that for you. In the case of highly priced stocks, a single stock can often cost thousands of dollars. However, with fractional investing, you can purchase as little as 1% of the entire share. Fractional shares can be as small as 1,000th of a share or even smaller. And by the way, this is not allowed in the Indian stock markets, but when you invest in foreign shares, you have that advantage. To sum up, investing in the US can be done directly by three ways. Opening a trading account with Indian brokers who have ties with a foreign one, opening an account with an international broker who has presence in India. And the third way is through investing via NSC IFSC. That's all we have in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.